Hey everyone, how are you? How are you today? Jump in on those comments and let me know uh, where you're tuning in from. I'm Sharon from the blog I Restore Stuff. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube, and I restore furniture and upcycle furniture and de home decor. Um, I like to take old things and make them new again. So uh, let me know if you've just joined us, Oop. where you're tuning in from. I'm just checking down on my laptop to make sure I can see comments because I can't see them on my phone. So hi, Teresa. <clears throat> now today, as it says in the little description up there on the live, I'll be using Amanda's beautiful stencil design for the Stencil of the Month Club. So who is in the Stencil of the Month Club? As you're joining and letting me know where you're from, hi everybody from all over America. Hi if there's anyone there from Australia to you too. Um, let me know if you're in the Stencil of the Month Club. I'd love to know that too. So let me just swipe across there. All right. Oh, we've got Robin from Tennessee. Hi, Kim. Hi, Jane. Hi, Maggie. I am, she said. So, Maggie, I'm guessing you're in the Stencil of the Month Club. Yes. I'd like, do a thumbs up or something. Okay, guys, thumbs up if you're in the Stencil of the Month Club because um, Amanda has done a beautiful design for August. So, if you're not in there already, don't forget to use my code IRESTOREStuff and you'll get your first month, uh, $5 off your first month in the Stencil of the Month Club. Always use your codes, guys. So uh, if you have an ambassador code, use that. So for the stencil, uh, general stencils, essentialstencil.com, use the code I Restore Stuff in the checkout. Hi, Monica's got her hands up there. You're in the Stencil of the Month Club too, Monica. That's amazing. Um, this is actually the lovely Amanda, and I'm sure you've seen her. If you've seen some of the lives this week, you will have seen, and last week, you will have seen Amanda do her live demo. Um, what I was going to say is at EssentialStencil.com, you'll see that you can pre-order their fall stencils right now. So use the code IRESTOREStuff, get your pre-order and um, get 10% off all your stencils that way. So um, that's different than the Stencil of the Month Club. So the club is where you join and there's I think two or three different subscription options right there at stencilofthemonthclub.com and we'll have that link actually I've got the link in the description and Essential will put it in the beginning of um, in the comments and they send you a not just one stencil it's a complete set of stencils set of three stencils and they're all interchangeable every single month guys it's a bit addictive and um, you will see um, so also some add-ons, so you have optional add-ons each month to purchase. But if you haven't seen them already, let me just show you Amanda's beautiful stencils. And I'll use this black background to show you. So it's kind of the, a little bit of a building block situation. Most of our Stencil of the Month Club sets. Oh, Barb says she wishes she was in Australia right now. So you're having Arizona record heat. Ah, that sounds terrible. It sounds like our Australian um, summers are really, really, really hot. And even our winter, so it's the middle of winter here. I just have a light long sleeve shirt on. It's really not that cold. We, and we don't have central heating in our homes. So, um, <clears throat> all right. So building block kind of um, idea, the stencil of the month club, because you've usually got something that's the basis of your stencil and then you can add to it. So look at this gorgeous tree with all of the roots and all of the branches and little leaves. And then you can build on that by adding to it some sayings. So Amanda has come up with these gorgeous sayings. So I'll let you read those there. Two of the greatest gifts we can give our children are roots and wings. A limb has fallen from our family tree, but the roots still remain. And deep roots help us weather strong storms. So there's some gorgeous sayings there. So that's two of the stencils. And then the third one is these beautiful branches and all sorts of birds. So look at the branches there. So you can imagine you can pop those little birds on the different branches. These, this one actually, whoops, this one here, looks like a tree root. So you could even make your roots go deeper. So you could make your roots of the tree 
uh, this tree here. Go even deeper with some of those longer roots. You just pop them over the top of your other roots. And look at the different types of birds we've got there. See if you can recognize any that you might know. I don't know, I'm not familiar with all different types of birds. And of course, there's different birds in Australia than there are in the USA. We've got our galahs and our native kookaburras and kingfishers and those kind of birds. Rainbow lorikeets, some lovely birds here in Australia. And you may hear some tweeting outside, tweeting <laughs> um, outside. All right, so here we go. I'm going to be starting with, and the other thing is the add-on. So let me show you that because, stay tuned because later on I want to do something with this add-on. The add-on option, so these are optional in the Stencil of the Month Club. You have the option, I think, each month whether to choose the add-on or not. But look at these gorgeous background designs. Use them for backgrounds on your signs or can you imagine making uh, some gift wrapping paper with these gorgeous designs on it? This one has the little birds sitting on the vines. So I want to do something with those today after I do my tree. And uh, so stay tuned for that. Also, don't forget we give away prizes here on Essential Stencil. If you are watching the replay, you can comment replay uh, during this live and Essential Stencil will have a look at that in the next 24 hours after the live finishes. They will be choosing one winner from those replays. Uh, if you are staying, staying here right now and you're on the live, you'll uh, have a chance to win at the end of the live. A, we'll be giving away three prizes to our Essential Stencil winners. All right, I'm trying to read comments down here on my computer, so I'm trying to look at you here, do that at the same time. Okay, guys, so moving down here, I'm just working on a block. It's just a, what do you call that? <clears throat> it's those boards that you put all together. I lose my words <laughs> all the time. It's got all the layers of wood. Plywood, that's it. It's plywood, and this is quite a thick plywood, but you can use any. Now, the board is approximately maybe 11 and a half inches by 11. That's nearly 30 centimeters in Australian metric measurements um, and I've painted it with just a beautiful chalk paint finish this is an Aussie brand artisan Riviera haze gorgeous chalk paint finish it's like a blue a really pale blue color so I liked the look of that and then I'm going to place my these stencils are 12 inches wide so you can see that it would fit on a 12 by 12 board perfectly but the stencils are 12 by 16. So if you wanted to make one larger, you can. This is just a board I had lying around. <clears throat> Rhonda said she just used Amanda's set to make a sign for her sister. That's amazing. Yeah, the sayings are just beautiful. All right, so putting my tree down, I'm going to be, I can't really tape this down today, so I'm just gonna use my hands to steady the sign. Uh, and I'll be using some brown for the roots and some green for the branch area and doing a little bit of sort of blending as we go. So I might start out with the brown. So I'm just using a chalk paint. This is called Mocha, the colour. <clears throat> and thank you so much for sprinkling the love and sharing this live with your DIY friends and family or tagging a friend, whatever you'd like to do. All right, so I only need a little tiny, tiny bit because our, um, it goes a long way. I'm just gonna use one of our stencil brushes. Now I've got the link for these up on the uh, description of the live. They come in a set of four, four stencil brushes. So if you don't have those already, they are back in stock, guys. And um, I know we were run out for a while there. So there's all different sizes there for different needs you might have. I'm just going to use this medium sort of a size and I want to really, I'm just getting the it on the tips of my brush, no need to just put it everywhere but I'm dragging it out and just going to offload. I like to offload it a little bit as over there and just in a little swirling motion because I've offloaded the paint there's not a lot on the brush <clears throat> and I'm just doing a little swirling motion to get it in the roots there and it gets it done a lot quicker I think than pouncing because pouncing seems to just not um, add enough paint for me I don't know 
Yeah, someone else says they love their stencil brushes. That's amazing. Lots of people liking them. Okay, offloading. So that's the key to good stenciling is to offload your brush. Now I'm doing these tiny roots on the outside first uh, with not very much paint on my brush. When I get to this big tree trunk, I may even just have a little bit, leave a little bit more paint on my brush. I'm pouncing a little bit there to just, I noticed that I had a little bit more on my brush than I normally would. So just pouncing it helps it not bleed underneath. You don't want the um, paint to bleed underneath the stencil the plastic. All right, so here we go, go getting further into the, the larger area of the tree trunk. It's hard to see because the stencil is on a white background, but see if I can tilt, tip it up there. As I'm going into these bits, I can afford to leave a little bit more paint on my brush and just go in the middle. I'll, I'll have to put this down so I can actually hold this still, otherwise it's gonna move around. So instead of offloading this time, I'm gonna really offload in the middle of that trunk there. But you just wanna make sure that there's hardly any on the bristles when you go near, near to the edges, okay? Now I'm gonna go along the branches, but I'm not gonna be worried if I get the leaves or if I don't get the leaves. So the leaves are sort of mixed in with the branches. I wanna mainly get my branches to be brown. And I'm even going to leave a little bit undone, if that's a word. So I'm not pressing Near, I'll, I'll show you what I mean. Oops, I've just moved it, but thankfully we can get it right back in the right place. So it's not as full a coverage. So I've got a full coverage right here, but I'm just leaving a little bit of, it's almost rustic looking because of the grain of the wood. You can see I'm not fully covering the branches and that's okay because I'm thinking that looks kind of nice and rustic. Offload, just going in the branches here and I'm not worried too much if I get on the green leaves but the main part I want to do is those branches because we're going to do the leaves and the tips of the branches green. I am seeing, I've been over to the Stencil of the Month Club, even just this morning was just having a flick through some of the the community we've got there. And once you're in the Stencil of the Month Club, um, you get access to their Facebook group. And there are some lovely inspirational designs there that people are doing with the Stencil of the Month Club. Very, very clever ideas. So that itself is even worth just being in the Stencil of the Month Club for to get some of those great ideas if you're a sign maker or even if you're just looking for gift ideas um, for others. So I've kind of got most of my branches there. There's very talented people in the group there. Um, someone said, so Mary, you said you were late and you didn't hear the alert. Okay, sometimes Facebook, let me just let you know guys, Facebook's having some little um, glitches every now and then and so I think they're having a little bit of a hissy fit I don't know what but Facebook was not allowing us to send out alerts for some people so I'm really sorry if you didn't get alerts it's nothing that essential stencil could do and they're trying their very best but if you can um, go to the little bell and make sure that you up the top there you should see it on desktop or on your phone there's a little bell that says to get live notifications and you should be able to they should come up automatically without actually getting a message uh, if you're on Facebook it'll come up saying essential stencil is live right now and then you can click on the live and do that so I usually go to my page notifications of the page I want to see everything like if I don't want to miss a live go to that page into the notifications and and change your notifications around. Let them know, I wanna see all the lives. I wanna know when they're going live. So um, any of those things can kind of help you. So I'm really sorry, there's nothing we could do about it if you didn't get an alert today. Um, they are though, 
sending out SMSs. So if you um, are logged into the SMS notifications, you should get a still get a text message notification. So I'm uh, not sure how to do that, but I'm sure that Essential Stencil will put up a little something, a pinned comment somewhere to let you know how you can get notified via those text message notifications. I think it's just a matter of texting live to a certain phone number. Did I even put that in the description maybe up there on the live? No, I haven't. Um, but maybe Essential will be able to put that in for you in the comments so that you get that text notification when they go live. Okay, back to our little, our little tree here. So we've got all our branches done. I'm just going to pop this in a wet cloth so that the our brush doesn't get dried out while I'm doing my next part. Okay, so here's the tree. <clears throat> and I will be doing the green, just a minute. But I do want to just see if I can get most of that chalk paint. Now I'm just using that a lovely chalk paint. You can use any acrylic based paints. Now when you're cleaning, just let me have a little moment with you. When you're cleaning, your stencils. I'm using a wet cloth, damp cloth. Sometimes if you've used a chalk paint, it can be a little bit tricky to get around. Um, it can, you know, get tricky to get to it fast enough because it'll dry quickly. But be really super careful with these tiny little areas here. So what I could do right now is just if I had a little bath, I could just soak it in the bath right beside me um, so that that could just have time to get off but I'm sort of getting off most of that there even these little thick parts here but there's some tips for cleaning your stencils just be super careful of those little parts that are quite fragile okay so I'll have to work on that later give it a good soaking but right now I'm going to do the green branches so it's not too much of a worry I'll bring my tree back into view And what I've got here is this olive color. It's called olive leaf, actually. To put the... Um, oops, to put the leaves on with. All right. Oh, someone said spray works wonderful for cleaning stencils. That's a great idea. I'm just going to dip a tiny bit. We've only got a few branches, so... And I'm going to use my smallest brush that I can find, which is this little half inch one. Uh, I did mention too that the brushes are back in stock. So I've just got to, now that I've wet my stencil, I might have to just try and dry that a bit, make sure it's dry before I put it on. So you can see that I've, I did get some of those leaves, but what I want to do now is place it back down and I'm going to blend those leaves in with the branches, putting it back exactly where it was. That's the good part about these. You can just line them back up if you happen to move it with your hand or whatever. Don't stress. Okay, offloading as I go, offloading as much as I can. You want a really dry brush to do your stenciling with. Now I've just put it on the tips of the bristles. And here we go. Just finding any little green parts, any little leaves that would be green. And it's an olive color. So it's gonna actually blend nicely with that dark. And the reason we do the roots and the branches first is because you want those leaves to go on top of the brown. Uh, anywhere that they are close to the branch. If you have gotten brown on the leaves, at least you'll get green on top of that brown. That's the, one, that's the thing you want to sit on the top. Now this would be great for, what have you used your tree for? Let's see. Um, has anyone used it for a family tree? Or something like that. I liked Amanda's idea of putting all those pennies on the tree as leaves. That was very cute. If you didn't see that, I'm pretty sure it, it was here on the main page, live.
thank you for typing in those paint colours. And these are Australian, this is an Australian brand of chalk paint, so, but you can use any green or any brown that you like. Oops, oh, I keep bumping it and there's not enough room to tape this down because it's right over the edge. I think my leaves, my sleeves are getting stuck on it. That's what's happening. So see how I'm not really too stressed about the green going onto my brown branches. You'll see it won't matter too much when we finish it and lift it back up. But as long as you have all of those areas covered. Just trying to see your comments here too guys. So missing some. Oh Lynn, great idea. Roll the tape and put it in under the stencil. Wow. That's, that would be smart. That's a great idea. I'll try that in a minute. Fall colours would look great. It's winter in Australia. Yes, it is, Kathy. Making sure I'm finding all the green, all the leaves, because they're sort of hidden somewhere in the branches in some of these places. And these little branch tips that I didn't get with the brown, but I'm just going to get those with the green so that it all blends nicely in there. Now, if you've just joined us, this stencil is from the Stencil of the Month Club for August. So every month in the Stencil of the Month Club, you'll be sent out a new set of designs. It's not just one stencil, it's a pack of, a set of three. And all three stencils work well together. So this is the tree, then Amanda has designed this to have some sayings that go with it to do with roots and wings and branches and family, all of the beautiful things. So there's birds, there's branches, and that's available right now on the Stencil of the Month Club. So if you follow the links that we've got there in the description of the live, or that are pinned there, Oh, Patty says our family tree is growing. I just became a great Grammy two weeks ago. That is so exciting. Woohoo! Congratulations, great Grammy. Alrighty. Okay, so I think we've finished exactly all of the leaf areas um, once again I'm going to pop that dry uh, the ends in a damp cloth just wrapping it up there wrapping the ends in a damp cloth so that the bristles don't dry with the paint on them there we go let me see if I can show you that a little bit closer and once again we're going to see if I can wipe that slightly before it all dries too heavily. I've got my cloth on there, but I'll hold this up a little bit closer for you so hopefully you can see. There we go. So you can sort of, it's a very subtle difference between the green. Whoop, <laughs> trying to get this really close for you to see. But as you know, here in Australia, we're playing with the sun that's coming in my large area here that I do my work in. So you can see the green on the leaves and the tree has its dark brown area. That's the color called mocha. 
All right, so across the middle of our tree, I'm going to pop something in there. It's just, just cleaning off this before it all dries as much as I can. <coughs> Make your stencils last a long time. But again, just be very, very super careful about um, those little tiny fragile pieces. All right, so I'm going to leave that aside. Now, if you have just joined us and if you haven't um, watched an essential stencil live before, let us know. See the sun? It's just, it, we play this game every week here on my lives and I try and duck it every time. Um, don't forget there's prizes at the end. We're going to pick three winners. If you are here for the very first time and you've never seen a live before, let us know. I'd love to know who's here for the first time. I am going to use a part of one of these sayings to put, uh, Carol says, do you paint where the bridges are to join the parts? I don't actually, Carol, no. I don't pa paint where those bridges go. You could though. So Carol's talking about these little bridges. See the white, ooh, white lines right here? where the bridges uh, join, the bridges of the stencil join those roots. So you could go ahead and paint with your brown paint in those little areas. I would get a finer brush than what I've got, um, but you can absolutely do that. But for the sake of time, I'm not gonna do that today on my life. All right, dropping down here again, let me just show you what I'm gonna place in the middle. And to do this, I'll probably just use a black paint to go across here, but I want to go across the center of this tree trunk and just with the words, our family tree. And I found those words right here, our family tree. And it's from this beautiful saying that is in the middle of that, that says, where is it? A limb has fallen from our family tree, but the root still remains. So that's a beautiful saying that you could put on something, a gift. And I saw some beautiful um, examples of that in the Stencil of the Month Club. Someone had done one for a friend who'd lost their son. Um, but the roots remain strong. Isn't that beautiful? So I want to just put the words, our family tree, right across here. You could put it across the top. Obviously, this I just chose a board that I had randomly around the house. There's no room at the top, no room at the bottom. I'm going to pop that straight across in the middle. I want to make sure it's in the center, though, so I'm sort of I've sort of got to make it uh, that the word family is fairly central on the tree and we've got our and tree. Then I'm going to have to tape off the rest. So I've got my blue tape here. And just want to tape just about as much as what, you know, you need to cover the bottom line and the top line. Because if I'm painting our family tree and it accidentally gets on those, it's going to... Um, make a mess. We don't want it to make a mess. All right, so just popping that bit there and another piece for here. <coughs> I've missed a whole bunch of comments. I'm sorry, guys. Thank you. Oh, welcome. Someone just said it's their first live. L Lisa, lovely to have you here. Amanda says she doesn't paint the bridges either. <laughs> you could, you could definitely, the, it looks I look at the tree and I see a woman with horns dancing. <laughs> I was in a salad, Joyce Ann. That's funny. <laughs> All right. Now, see this little comma down here? I don't want that in and I've got to be careful of the word from, so I'm going to just take off both of those ends also. Now, this is my trick for if I don't want the tape to stick too hard down onto, I just tape my sleeves or a piece of cloth and that kind of adds a little tiny bit of lint something so that I'm not pulling up some st the stencils too hard if that makes sense it's my little trick all right so there's a comma right beside the word tree here I don't want the comma in there I just want it to say our family tree and I know it's in it doesn't have a capital letter but I think that's cool making sure it's all straight I feel like it's in the center of the tree I could use something to just measure oh perfect exactly that width there oh look it isn't it isn't centered, guys. So when I measure this way, it has to go over here further, probably because the tree is sitting a little bit to that side 
of the block. So that's something that you can just, I'm just using a pen to measure instead of, hmm, looks like I have to go a long way over. Okay, so it's kind of not central to the tree, it's central to the board is what I'm looking for. Whichever way you go, mm, it's much of a muchness. I kind of want to make it centered to the tree trunk, but the tree trunk is actually a little bit further across. Anyway, however you do it, when you do it, you guys can make up your minds how you want to do it. I'm just scooting through the comments here to see if I can see anything I'm missing, and there's so many. So I'm going to use a black paint to do that, to do the words. This is just an Australian chalk brand called Artisan. If you're in Australia, let me know how you're going over here in, in, um, in the winter. Because in Australia, obviously, the further north you go, the hotter it is because we're on this, the other side of the equator than most of you. And the further south you go, the closer it is to the Arctic circles, Antarctica. Okay, oh guys, I didn't have my wet cloth here dampening my brush tips and they're drying out, so we don't want that. I could put them in water, but I just leave them there in case I had something else that I needed to. Actually, I don't. So let's just, in case I had something else I needed to paint with those colors. But I've already, I'm already completely done with the branches and the leaves. So let's go on with our words. And I'll just use the next one that I have available, which is this little 5 8 inch stencil brush. See, now the sun's getting on there. Excuse us while I just do a little juggling with the table. Nope, that's not, that's not better, that's worse. Oh, Sharon, I thought I'd, I thought I'd dodged it. All right, so just doing the words here, I've got my black. Now with the words, you want that to be really made sure it's dried off. You can always add more paint but to have a dried off brush to start with. So you think that there's hardly anything on that brush, but you watch, see there's hardly anything coming off on that little spot there. I just bumped it, I just bumped it. But wait until we get the words on, let me see. Okay, if this isn't center guys, I'm sorry. All right, just going to I thought there was a lot on. See, we can always add more. So I'm going to add more. But I do want to just still offload as much as I can. And I'm going to just wiggle, pounce and wiggle, pounce and wiggle. And I'm hoping that that little part comes out, turns out well um, where I've got the mocha or the brown on the tree because I'm using black. I'm just hoping it stands out enough. If it doesn't, we could always just add like a drop shadow kind of effect, couldn't we? If you haven't seen that method, I've done a few lives where I've used that shadow effect using your stencils. So you just shift it slightly up and then slight or slightly down and then slightly to the right or left to create a shadow using a contrasting color so just two different colors and it really makes the the words stand out or even an image you can do it with anything it really makes it stand out okay so our family tree there we go hopefully that's straight let me see oh we have to go this way our family tree. So see how on the brown it's not really standing out fully. So what I could have done is added a white shadow or I can actually use a white color now to go over that and make the dark the shadow. Why don't we just try that? We could try that. So I'm running out of brushes here <clears throat> and I will have to make this really clean so I'm just going to Clean off the stencil here for a minute. 
because I'm going to be using white over the top of that. The other thing I want to show you is how to make a gift card using the add-on today. So don't go anywhere. I've got that to show you in just a second. Once I've cleaned it, I want to dry it. Make sure that's quite dry. Otherwise you're kind of, you're diluting the paint if you put it, if the stencil is too wet. And it's all experimental. So we've got the stencil on here. Now let me just show you how we do this shadowing thing. This is exactly over the stencil, but I want to shift it slightly across and slightly up. Let me go the other way, slightly across this way and slightly up so that that black is a shadow. And then when I do my white, that's going to stand out. So here we go with a little dab of white. And you may need a couple of coats if it's a light color going over a dark shadow. This is fine, quite fine, the font, so it may not need it, but however, um, now I'm just going to have to use my last stencil brush here. This one is the larger 7 8 inch and that should still be okay. Let's see how we go with that. This paint looks quite thin. So we may have to do a couple of coats. And I'm also, again, the same thing. That light blue in the background there is so light that it could, um, it could be too light for the white to stand out. But having that black there as a drop shadow, I'm hoping is going to be a lovely effect on there. <laughs> and if it all fails, don't copy what I did, guys. That's so funny. Oops, I'm missing your comments there. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to catch up here. Yeah, the stencil qualities are amazing. And um, there's people talking in the comments about the new fall designs. So there's plenty of football, Halloween, all the different fall leaves. Thing. There's even apples, apple orchard sign making stencils and all sorts of things. All right, so you can actually pre-order those right now. Use my code iRestoreStuff to get you 10% off. Let's see how this worked out. Now I can see the black is still there. So, but you can see the effect that I was trying to get. It just kind of makes it pop out from the, the tree slightly more. There we go. See how it just pops with that shadow effect? So I did black as an underlying shadow and then I did white when you slightly shift it to the left or the right. So you're just kind of making a shadow. So just shifting the stencil slightly on a diagonal way. So you kind of just shift it over and up or the other way around and you can create that lovely drop shadow effect. So to do that again, I would I would like to, because I can still see some black there, I want that white to stand out even more. So I'm just going to lay it down there for one last time. And this is chalk paint, so it really dries so quickly. But I do like the way that is turning out. Just makes it stand out a little bit more. It makes the, um, the words, the, like the black that was over the tree, because the black and the brown aren't contrasting enough, it kind of made it difficult for them to be able to see those words against the tree. So I'm just going to offload some more on the paper here. And one last time I'll go over that to see if it stands out a little bit more. So you can go on with your second coat. You could let it dry a bit longer if you wanted to, but who's got time for that here on a live, hey? I'll just hope for the best and hope it sort of stands out a bit more. All right. I think that's a better coat. There we go. Once again, cleaning off my stencil. And we've got the gorgeous 
our family tree standing out like a bit of a shadow right there. All right, so here's some ideas for this one, guys. This is what I was thinking. So you can make this your family tree and then using one of those beautiful Sharpies that, um, or just any fine permanent marker, you could actually write family tree names, you know, your names, or get those people to sign the family tree around the outside of the branches. So how would that look? So if you had lots of family members, you can you imagine all these little signatures of these little um, all around the tree branches. That was my idea with this, our family tree. So there's the first idea. All right, for my second idea, which is a super quick one, and don't forget at the end, we're gonna be picking some winners. So remember that this has three parts to it. So there was the tree, which you saw, and then there was the sayings, which I used second over here, but there's also these birds and branches, which you can create whole new signs and new looks, you know, add the sayings with the branches, with the birds and all of those things. This is Amanda's stencil of the month club design, which if you have just joined us, that's what we're working on today. So that's our first project. And my second little project right here is just to show you how you can quickly make gift cards using the add-on. So the add-on feature for this stencil of the month club are these two different designs, which are repeat patterns. So you can lay them down and then repeat them. So, oops, missing all your comments, guys. I wish I could see them on my phone. I have to kind of rely on my laptop down here and then I've got to scroll past a couple of hundred comments that are happening all the time. Here we go. Yes, great wedding gift idea. Put the date of the marriage underneath. Perfect for that. All right, so I'm just taking out this beautiful designs here and I have just some A4 paper. That's what we have here in Australia. It's not paper, it's kind of heavy duty paper like cardstock. You could use it, probably I would use it a little bit thicker than what I have got here. Um, and I'm going to be, first. the first one I'm going to use is these, let's do the birds first, the birds or the leaves. I'm just going to have to situate my table a little bit different. I'm just going to move us around a little bit guys because that sun is annoying me it's chasing us all right and then we can see a little bit better without all that sun on the on the paper okay so it's a bit tricky to see white on white with the stencils but i'm going to paint the first layer i'm going to do black but you could just this is just gift cards. You could use this as wrapping paper. My idea was just one of these as, as using it as a gift card. So you can see where it's um, finished off. Half the stencil is here and the other half we won't be doing just yet. Actually, I could do them. No, I couldn't do them at the same time. I'm going to just tape off that second design so that I don't accidentally... Okay, just taping that to fabric so that it doesn't adhere too much and taping off that half there. So what I've got here, this is the little vines that have birds on the branches. It's a very cute design and you'll see it in just a second as soon as I, yep. I feel like that's not straight. There we go. Um, all right, so using my black, that I already had on this brush here. This is just the base basis of, you could just imagine doing so many different things. I'd love to hear some of your ideas for this, for using it for backgrounds. You could put it on furniture, uh, like drawers. You could have it as on a drawer, making sure that's offloaded enough. So let us know in the comments some ideas that you would use this for. Oh, there's some little berries there. So you could use all sorts of colours on here. For right now, I'm just using black. So that it just really stands out. But you could go and touch it up later. Oh, 
Oh, vines with birds would be a lovely pillow, someone said. That's a great idea. Yes, making your own wrapping paper. So you just keep repeating the pattern across your paper. The paint's drying out on this brush a little bit. I have to add a change of brushes because I can feel that getting a bit stiff and not painting properly. So I'm just going to use a ordinary furniture paintbrush and I've taped the end with a rubber band. See if I can just get that a little bit smoother. There we go. When your paint dries out on your brush, it's not a good thing. So when I've got not much paint on the brush, it's easy to just kind of go straight, but otherwise I do a little swirly motion just to kind of get it, get it all in there. You can go super fast then without pouncing up and down. And but you find your own way of um, your method that you like, you know, that works for you. And a lot of people might like rollers. You can use a roller to stencil with. You could use a makeup sponge to do your stenciling with. I feel like I have a little bit more control when I use a brush and um, I haven't quite got the technique right with the makeup sponges just to have the right amount on the sponge because otherwise if you have a little bit too much I'd, you know, I'd have to really... But as with anything when you're stenciling you just practice. Practice Practice, practice. So if I wanted to, I could actually just practice a little bit more with the makeup sponges and I'd be able to probably be a little bit more efficient at using those. So Okay, just looking through some comments again, guys. Linda says, I'm making the family tree for both of my sisters so they can have their kids and grandkids sign them. That's a beautiful idea. I love it. Oops. So once you've done this, would you believe I've run out of black paint? Let me see if I can just get a little from the lid. Perfect. Okay. So remember we're making, you could make wrapping paper, but right now I'm making a gift card because I've just used an A4 size card, or, you know, card stock. Let me show you what that looks like. Oop, it's stuck to the paper, of course. Okay, I'll clean that off in a minute. But look at that, look at that for a little bit of a card we haven't quite finished yet the other thing that i was thinking is oops let me just grab my paper cutter here so you could just use a little bit of paper cutter what i'm going to do is just make the card a little shorter uh, a little more card size and just trim those edges right here and around here so that it kind of goes from edge to edge. And around the other side. Oops, not too far. So you could touch those up with some lovely metallics with the birds. 
There we go. So, gosh, I hope I got that straight. It looks a little off-centered. So then I fold my card just like so. And I have one of those um, little, you know, cards that sort of open up and they, they have the design on both sides. So there's a gorgeous card that you could start with. I could add a little bit of uh, metallics, I'm thinking, even something like a copper. Imagine a copper. Let me just do that right now. I'm thinking, I could even just add a little bit to my stencil. Hang on a second. If I pop that stencil back on here. Now I haven't washed it off yet. I haven't cleaned it off yet. But if I just give it a quick clean, what I'm thinking is just those little birds. So if I just clean quickly around where the little birds are, make sure I get those. I can find them all. Once again, it's not dried, so I've dropped my towel. Which way does it go? This way for you guys. So I'm popping that back down exactly where that design was. And using, mm, I'd have to find a smaller, smaller brush, and I've used up all my stencil brushes. But I will find a little one, don't you worry. Ah, let's just use this. So just tapping a little bit of that copper metallic, offloading it on here. And I just want to touch where the birds are on here. Right, so here's a bird and I've got the black underneath it. So it is going to go a little bit over and I just might get these little, you could tape this right off. You could totally tape this off. Probably could have. I'm just doing it for time's sake. Here's some birds. I'm going to get those guys. There's another bird. Just adding some gorgeous metallic to make a beautiful gift card. I'm using an awkward kind of brush, but anyway, it's working. <laughs> this is a bent brush and it's good for getting into little nooks and crannies and things. Oh, these are little, I'm trying to do these berries. Here's a bird. He's not quite. And the stencil has moved. There we go. So some of these may have a little shadow on them. There's a bird there. And another one. There we go. Little few little berries. Just little touches of gorgeous metallic blending those birds. Have I got them all? All the berries and all the birds. Okay, let's see how that turned out. Lovely. All right, so there's a little bit of metallic touch. You can see that in the light. And it's just, I've just created an easy gift card with stencils. So you can use that as a gift card. You could use it as a background, but imagine even that as a background and using that metallic idea um, on drawers or a furniture piece or even, I don't know, what else would you use it on? I'm trying to have a look at some of your ideas here. <coughs> and um, stay tuned guys because we're about to pick some winners. So there's the project that we worked on today. There's our family tree and there is a gift card that I made super quickly with just that. Woo! Comments are flying, guys. We're about to pick our winners. So let me see if Essential Stencil has picked the winners. Let me know. Drum roll. <laughs> I want to say congratulations to those people. Good luck, everyone. Um, they've been watching and reading your comments during the live. So here we go. And the winners are 
Debbie Bolnar, Dawn Delucio Cruz, if I say that right, I like a good challenge. Oops, and Susan Moshia, Mokia. There you go. So guys, those are our three winners today. You just have to email support at essentialstencil.com if you are a winner today. Don't forget if you're watching the replay, comment the word replay and they will be picking another winner from the replay list in the next 24 hours. So they'll be able to tell if you've watched the live or the replay. So here's what we worked on today. Our family tree. Remember that you can use a one of those Sharpie pens or a, a permanent marker. Get your family to sign little branches or little leaves all the way around your tree and there's your family tree. Then we made, with the add-on feature from Amanda's Stencil of the Month design for August, we used the design with the birds and the vines and I've added copper metallic just going over the stencil again with the black underneath. It works well with that black underneath the copper so that it kind of stands out when you have a base color under the metallics. So there you go. There's just a gift card that you could use and send to a loved one. Ta-da! All right, so those are the two projects from today. I hope you'll join the Stencil of the Month Club. You still have several days before that one finishes for August, so don't miss out on getting the August design. Um, and you just use the code IRESTOREStuff and you'll get $5 off your first month. And you'll also get 10% off the general uh, essentialstencil.com page. So don't forget to pre-order those fall stencils. There's uh, beautiful, beautiful fall stencil designs. The links are right there in the top where I've written pre-order the new fall stencils here. Click that link and it'll automatically fill in your 10% off coupon code at the checkout. So I'm Sharon from the blog I Restore Stuff. Come and follow me over on YouTube or Pinterest or Instagram or Facebook. I'd love to see you there. I'll catch you next time. Bye.